What up, YouTube? This is 2 by 2 VIP sales coming at you again. I got these uh, black cement 3s and fire reds that I'm going to do a comparison on for you guys. Uh, the fire red 3s are authentic. Pick them up from Nike.com. And the black cements are the super perfect quality uh, from 2 by 2 VIP.com. I'm also going to be doing a quick uh, <coughs> on feet review of the black cements our feet so stay tuned for that after this first let's get into the authentic box as we all know this should be able to be pulled off right here the little uh, price price sticker and the label is on the top part of the box it's classic Jordan on the top the elephant print all the way around nothing real fancy we get to the bottom there's a Nike sticker. This is from the factory, I believe. Uh, stating that they're authentic and been all checked out from Nike and Jordan. Everything else is printed on the box except for this sticker right here. Uh, compared to this box, the stickers down here, there's no price label. No price label stickers down here. It should be up here. <clears throat> Top, I think. Jump bands are facing the right way. The elephant print is a little lighter. Uh, the bottom of the box is the main thing. Everything, they got all this on here. All the print is too big, and they don't have that official Nike sticker that the other ones do. But I mean, you're not wearing the box, so I really don't chip off the box. Also, the uh, authentic box is way bigger. My, th my authentic uh, fire reds are size 10 and a half and the box is still bigger than the 11s, the size 11s. But, let's get into the shoes. It's the left shoe of the fire red. They wore war like two times. And this is the left are the black cement threes super quality authentic from nike.com first thing you can see is the elephant print on the black cements is a little bit thicker and a little bit bigger and it goes a little bit wider a little bit longer I should say it stops right here on the fire reds but it goes a little bit further here <clears throat> um, another thing that I was able to notice was the toe box on these were a little bit bigger it might be because these are 11s and these are 10 and a half. I'm not exactly sure, but the toe box is bigger. And this cut right here isn't as clean as the the uh, perfect or the authentic, excuse me. See how there's a little bump right there in the leather. Also, these holes, these little holes right here, you can see them and feel them on the real ones. These, you can see them. You can't really feel them because they're not all the way indented. They just got a little sloppy with those, but I mean, you really can't tell. The biggest problem on these is the tongue, of course. Everybody knows the tongue is not perfect. And like this, this is just perfect right here. The tongue is way softer, way, way softer here. This one's, it's not hard, but there's padding here, but you can definitely feel the difference. Um, also the back, very, very, very stiff here, it's just hard, compared to these are just really soft, but everything else in the back honestly lines up perfectly, I mean, the air and the jump mount logo are perfect, this is stiff, this is even stiffer, but I mean, nobody's going to be pulling on the back of your shoe, all the paint on these I have to say is on point and perfect. Um, most of the all these red things are out none of them are pushed in all the way but you can they should be out a little bit more you can see here it should be out more but I mean it's still really really good quality <clears throat> and the way I rock these there's no way nobody's gonna be able to tell me that these are fake on my feet I won't get called out on these because I wear my pants cuffed over this so this is all you see <laughs> But I mean, this right here is a perfect shoe for what I paid, which was like 
hundred bucks, I think, on two by two. Um, but yeah, they're just look at that. I think they're perfect, honestly. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to be wearing them. Uh, they both came with these little hang tag. This is the real one. The real one's a little bit more clear. This one's kind of yellowed. Um, that's about it. This is a little bit brighter and this is a little bit dull. <clears throat> uh, Super Perfects also came with this dust bag. I mean, it's cool, but you can definitely tell that it's cheaper. But, there's a another shoe, excuse me. I honestly love this shoe. This is my favorite three, besides the DBs, of course, but. Uh, just let me know what you guys think. They come a little bit wrinkled, but I mean the leather is really, really, really good quality. It's just this right here is what gets me. It's hard. It's not straight here, and the tongue isn't perfect. But I mean my my pants gonna be covering all of this, so you're just gonna see the beautiful leather, the paint, no flaws and all that. But uh, just comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I have other shoes coming in, and uh, just stay tuned for this uh. Our few review of these. Alright, peace.